This week I'm talking to you about the importance of a small group and how that small group can help you to grow in Christ. I want to read to you a verse of scripture from the book of Acts chapter 2 and verse 42. It says, and they devoted themselves to the apostles teaching and fellowship to the breaking of bread and the prayers. Now, there were four elements to their small group. There was the teaching of the Word of God. There was the breaking of bread. There was fellowship and prayer. I want to encourage you to be a part of a small group where you can come together and you can pray for one another. It's important in your small group that you pray for each other. Prayer was a very important role in that small group. So I want to encourage you to do that. For me, this was critical because when I first became a Christian, uh, I had friends and we started meeting together early in the morning and we would pray together. We would read the scripture together. We would memorize scripture together, but we would share our hearts and we would pray for each other. And, and I cannot tell you how valuable that was to me as a new believer, praying with someone, having someone pray with me, having a small group to pray for, for me. As a matter of fact, there, was, there were several of us, every single one of us who were part of that small group, 54 years later, are not only living for Jesus, but are serving Jesus, most of us in full-time Christian ministry. But it was because we, in those early days, we learned to pray for each other. And one of the things in the small group that Jesus had, remember he chose 12, but one of the things that they saw about his life and they knew and grew from his life and, and took from his life was that he prayed. And they, they, the one thing they asked him, they said, Lord, teach us to pray. And it's in that context of the small group that you learn to pray, you learn to seek God, you, you, you learn to share your heart with others and others share their heart with each other. And there's something powerful that takes place when two, three, four, five, ten people pray. For Jesus said, where two or three are gathered in my name. There am I in the midst of them. And it becomes powerful praying when you're praying with a small group of people. So I want to encourage you to meet with a small group of people, begin to pray, begin to seek the face of God, and see what God will do.